Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and this is my Christmas special. This year I wanted to make something really cute inspired by gingerbread and festive holiday colors. Also, I wanted to finally make my first male custom doll. So what better opportunity than making a Christmas holiday inspired gingerbread prince? The perfect candidate for this custom was Claude Wolf. I've had him for quite a while now and really wanted to customize him. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is removing the factory paint and hair. I'm also removing his wolf ears because they didn't really fit my idea for the prints and covered them up with some fabric and glue. Since I'll be gluing on his hair later, I can already start painting the face. I'm applying some shimmers to his bare face first, so that he looks very festive. Then I'm starting to give him some shading to his face, cheeks and lips. I'm sketching out the eyes and eyebrows and slowly add more and more details. For some more depth and popping colors, I'm painting his sclerus white using some white acrylic paint. I wanted to give him super light blue eyes, so I switched to blue acrylics and carefully paint his iris blue. After the color was dry, I can add shading with colored pencils to it. Some lashes, shimmers and gloss on his lips finish up the face just perfectly. Time for his hair! 
First, I'm flocking his head again with some dark brown flock just leaving out the top of the head. I probably could have kept some of the flocking that he already had before, but whenever I prepared him I wasn't sure about his hairstyle back then. Then I prepared some blonde and pink yarn hair and curled it into tiny little curls. I'm gluing them onto the head in an upward direction so that he will have beautiful curls that can be nicely styled in the end. They look so fluffy. After I was done with his face and hair, I'm starting to make the outfit. I wanted to give him a ruffled blouse, a cute vest, some poofy pants, long socks, some Vivian Westwood inspired rocking horse shoes and a top hat. A lot of stuff to do. Let's start with the blouse. I'm using some cream colored cotton fabric and first add the ruffles to the sleeve ends, then attaching them to the actual sleeves and gathering them on top. Then I'm adding ruffles to the front of the blouse and the collar and attach the collar onto the bodice. Now I just need to sew the sleeves onto the bodice and close the sleeve and side seams. I'm adding two snap buttons as a closure and some golden beads that look like buttons and a red ribbon. For the vest I'm cutting the pieces from pink cotton fabric and add the collar to the front parts, leaving a tiny space open for the neck collar piece. I'm adding it to the vest and clean up the armholes by cutting them and gluing them down. Then I'm sewing together the side seams and clean up the bottom seam. I'm adding a snap button, little golden beads, some hearts and accessories I made from polymer clay and a pom-pom to the collar. For the pants, I made a little print design and ironed it onto the fabric. Then I sewed some lace to the leg seams and attached them to the pants. I made the waistband from red and white striped fabric, gathered the pants and sewed everything together. The closure is a tiny snap button as well.
For the socks, I used the fabric of some tights for children, cut the pieces out and sewed them together. Now one of the trickiest parts came, the shoes. I wanted to make some shoes inspired by Vivian Westwood's rocking horseshoes, so I made a base from papier-mâché first and attached some polymer clay to the shoe tip. I made a pattern for the shoe and cut out the pattern pieces from brown PU leather. I glued the tongue part first, then add eyelets to the side parts and glued them on. Now I just need to add the front and the back part. I made the soles from some wood and dremeled them in shape. Then I glued on the shoes onto the soles, painted the insides of them black and added the little tinsel in the front. It was a lot of trying out since I never made shoes like that before, but in the end they turned out really cool I think. The last thing I needed to make was his hat. This was trickier than I thought actually. I wanted to make a top hat from fabric, so I made a pattern and needed to figure out a way how to make it very neat and without any fraying parts. I ironed on some very thick interfacing to the dark brown fabric first and cut out all the pieces. I cut out the brim piece two times. Then I sewed together these two pieces, cut the seam allowance and shortened it and flipped it inside out. After ironing, we have a nice neat hat brim. <laughs> it almost looks like a donut. I'm cutting the seam allowance on the inside of the brim and glue down one side of it. Then I'm taking the rectangle piece and cut the seam allowance as well. The next thing I'm doing is gluing on that hat piece to the brim. After that was done, I closed the piece on the back side of the hat. Now I can glue the seam allowance from the other side of the brim inside the hat. Then I'm cutting the seam allowance of the circle piece, iron it down and glue it onto the top of the head. And voila! A nice top head finally ready to be decorated. I'm first adding a pink ribbon to it and then a lot of accessories I made. A ribbon, a little polymer clay gingerbread man, cookies, a candy cane and some pom-poms.
also made him a candy cane walking stick from polymer clay. And yeah, we're finally done! Wow, that was a lot of work, but I think it was really worth it. Do you like my gingerbread prince? What do you like most? And what is your favorite Christmas candy? I actually love spiced cookies the most. Please let me know in the comments below what you like. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for some future custom fun next year. I have so many projects planned and I would be happy if you'd be part of my journey. And here's a shout out to my amazing patrons who actually make all this possible. You are the best and I couldn't be happier for your support. Thank you so much for watching, Merry Christmas and a happy and joyful new year to all of you.